A BBC investigation has uncovered evidence that the British Special Air Service, or SAS, executed detainees and murdered unarmed people in Afghanistan. Panorama has discovered that one unit killed 54 people in suspicious circumstances and that senior officers failed to report the alleged murders and didn't disclose evidence to the military police. The MOD says it will always hold UK troops to the highest standards and that they served with courage and professionalism in Afghanistan. Richard Bilton reports. Special forces were out most nights. In the winter of 2010, the SAS were hunting the Taliban. But we have found some UK units were out of control. The SAS came here, a village in central Helmand, through a hole in the wall and into a building. People here say that everybody in the house was brought into the courtyard and the special forces troops bound all the men's hands. And then one man was taken back inside and killed. Haji Ibrahim was a former district governor. A UN investigation found he was not a threat, but an unarmed civilian. His hands were tied at the front. He had been killed. They had shot him in the corner of his eye, and later they had fired a shot at my father's chest. The suspicious killing was far from a one-off. Panorama obtained military reports that show people were repeatedly shot dead after surrendering to the SAS. In report after report, special forces claimed they sent a detainee back into the building to help with the search. The detainee was then shot after supposedly grabbing a weapon. Military insiders say the SAS accounts are implausible. Special forces routinely search and restrain detainees, so they shouldn't be able to get hold of weapons. Impossible. If the person was so negligent, you'd be getting rid of the special forces guy. You'd be saying, you allowed someone to, to grab a grenade behind the curtain. You don't deserve to be in the special forces. You could have got everybody killed. So to see it time and again, how does that make you feel? It's, it's clearly uh, an orchestrated campaign of murders. Panorama looked in detail at one SAS tour. We identified 54 suspicious killings in just six months, incidents that look like murders and executions. The evidence suggests SAS executions went on for three years. I think allegations of the kind that you're making are incredibly shocking and if they are true then they would make me deeply sad and also deeply angry the british ministry of defense says extensive investigations into the conduct of uk forces in afghanistan found insufficient evidence to bring charges and that military police will consider any allegations should new evidence come to light but some believe it is time to look again at the behaviour of SAS death squads that arrived in the night. Richard Bilton, BBC News.